In this video, I'm going to show you the Fitbit Charge 5 hook and loop band. So first thing to note is this band, you will have to choose which size you want. So there is a small size and there is the large size. So this is the large size. It is called the hook and loop band. It is made for the Charge 5 and currently only fits the Fitbit Charge 5. And on the back here, you can see that it says Tracker is not included, made of nylon and polyester. And it does have a little wrist sizing tool if you find one of these on um, in the store, I mean. And you can also print off a wrist sizing tool online to see which size fits you best. So I'll go ahead and go to the back here. We'll do our usual unboxing. Should be quick. And that is all that is in the box. Alright, so here is the band up close. It's very lightweight, that's the first thing I notice. Um, these are the, it has a little Fitbit logo here, tastefully done, I think. These are the connection points, attachment points to the band itself. On the back here we have some soft velcro, so you can get whatever size you need. Let me see if I can up this here for you so you can see the band itself a little better because I do have the dark version. So this is the hook and loop, loop portion. And again, this is the attachment mechanism on this side. So yeah, looks like we can adjust here. You've just got that little Velcro attachment point here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my default classic infinity band, I guess is what they call it now. And to remove the band, I'm just gonna push this little section away from the tracker and toward the band. I usually can't do it with my fingernail, I have to use my thumb. And then I just easily pull it out here. So I'll go ahead and take out this side too, same thing. Just pulled it out, and there we go. So, not exactly sure which sides goes to which. I think I wear it like this though, let me see. So I do need to, you do know that it goes this way because this is curved in such a way that it does have to mesh like this. It won't fit this way. So I'll go ahead and insert here. All you have to do is push it together and you hear a click. All right, I'll give a little tug that is in there securely. And then I'll go ahead and put on the other side, same thing. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and Nope, nope, I think it is opposite. Well, this one's a little different to take out. This is what I'm noticing here. So, so this should be unlatched and then I should easily be able to pull it out actually seems a little hard and I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to rip this nylon. Interesting. It is way significantly lighter weight than this silicone band. That was the first, first thing I notice. I don't know why this is so stuck almost. Oh there, finally. So. That was a little harder than I expected to take out. Okay, I guess it just required a little more finagling or something. I don't know. So there's that. And then here. So I would say first impressions, yeah, it's not as easy to put in and take out as the default band. I think I'll get the hang of it over time. So what I wanted to do was make sure that the, the side with the clock face, I need the adjustable side to be 
you know, below the clock face essentially. So now I can slide my wrist through the opening here and then obviously that's too big. So I need to unvelcro this and then readjust. And there. So when I did my sizing, I figured the small might be just a tad too small. Usually I don't like to have so much left over in the band and the small may have worked for me, but it was I was right on the very edge or above the edge. So this feels a little bit loose. So I'm gonna try to tighten it up a little again. So yeah, I can still put a full finger underneath there or here and I can still move it back and forth so my wrist gets a little bit of breath air. So yeah, that's how the black hook and loop nylon band for the Fitbit Charge 5 looks on my wrist. So I would say I really like the looks of it. I, I personally am okay with the black and the lunar gold version. You'll have to see here on the video to see if you like it too or if you want the blue one or a different color but I'm good with that and yeah this is very lightweight it's very easy to take on and off so yeah I'm very happy with this purchase I think um, you might like it too if you tend to be like me and get some of these little uh, skin irritations from wearing the silicon band for too long. Um, you'll still probably want to use this for exercises where you sweat a lot because um, this one will get a little bit sweaty and you'll need to wash it off and dry it out. This one will take longer to dry off than the silicon will. So, Or you could use a sport band. I didn't opt for the sport band this time around, but that's another option too. But I think this might be the perfect band if you want to wear your Charge 5 to sleep. So I'll have to do that, but I have a feeling that I'm going to be wearing this to sleep and I'm going to really like it. So that is the hook and loop band for the Fitbit Charge 5. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 5 videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.